I bought a bunch of Stardew Valley merch online, Amazon, Etsy, some other sites, and today we're gonna open all of it. We got a whole lot of stuff. We're all excited about the 1.6 update. I was excited. I'm like, why don't I order some of this merch online? Because there's some cool stuff. There's some Amazon stuff that's more questionable. So we're gonna have a mix of official merch and unofficial merch. I just thought it was fun and I clearly, I love stuff. I'm so excited to finally open it because I've waited to open most of it. Um, the box I showed you, I had already opened because I wanted to see, I wanted to see it. And there were some plushies in there so I wanted to make sure they, they got fluffed up and everything. We're just gonna go all over the place, okay? So starting with Amazon, it's from Amazon so it's not official Stardew Valley merch. It's like fake, you know, it's fake. It'll have a little tag on it if it's official. So this is a little chicken, which I think is inspired by the um, Sanshi Stardew Valley chicken, which is an official one. So I got to see that one when I was at PAX East and that one is much bigger. And this one is just a wee too baby. It's not so bad. Um, this wasn't standing up flat when I first got it. It's still not the most flat. But yeah, and it does come saran wrapped or whatever <laughs> it's called, vacuum sealed. But it's still, it's pretty cute. And it's not so bad, but you can definitely see a difference in quality um, from official plushies to the Amazon plushies. But if you're just sitting it in your room and you're not hugging it all night, it might not matter too much. So that's the first plush I got. And then I got this Junomo plushie um, from Amazon and he's cute too. The thing about him is that the, the seams is like right in the middle there, which kind of bothers me. But other than that, I think he's cute. I think he's a good cre recreation. And also if you've just restarted your save in Stardew, he's the first little Junomo that comes out and waves at you. So it's really cute, the green one. I don't know, I think it's always the green one. The other thing I got from Amazon is this puzzle, which I'm gonna try to do with my family. Um, tomorrow's Easter. So this is on, this is unofficial. You can just see by this packaging, like, it's not cute. I really wanted to get Stardew Valley guidebook and I really wanted to get Stardew Valley board game, but the board game's so expensive on Amazon. I don't know where it's officially sold from. Maybe it is from Fangamer or Sanshi, but I, I have to look into it more. I think it was sold out wherever I did find it officially. The guidebook, I asked them at PAX East if they're updating it, and they did say they're updating it for 1.6. So I might have to wait a while for that one, but eventually I'd like to get it. So yeah, Stardew Valley map puzzle. I mean, it looks, it looks like it's pretty accurate and everything, so let's open it up and see what these pieces are looking like. Okay, so they're in this bag. I think it's also pretty easy to like make your own puzzle with whatever picture you want online these days. Silica packet. We should collect a pile of those. This is in there so you can get help when you're making the puzzle, but it's kind of bent up. And then the pieces. Yeah, they feel feel pretty good quality. So I'll put that puzzle together and we'll see how it goes. I only got a 500 piece because that's easier for me. The other size was a thousand. That's too much. I finally finished the Stardew Valley puzzle and it took me about three days. I started it with my family on Easter. Van helped with two pieces and um, I basically did most of it. So I finished it. Just now, the funniest thing happened at the end is that I had a piece like around here that was in the wrong place because there's so many little trees and yeah, so I had it in the wrong place and I had to like figure out which piece was in the wrong spot and then swap those two. So that was annoying. It was a difficult puzzle because there's so much green in it and just like, trees um the water was pretty difficult i ended up just being strategic about it but overall it was a fun puzzle this was the 500 piece there is a thousand piece too but yeah it was fun to do 
and I enjoyed it, but I'm definitely gonna use, do like smaller puzzles because maybe 300 pieces is good for me. Um, especially if you're doing it mostly alone. 500 is a lot, but I got it done and I'm really proud of myself. So yeah, fun little puzzle. Box one, done. Okay, now we're gonna kinda go into the other plushies I got, which I wanted to order from Fangamer for this video, but the shipping when I was buying a bunch of items together was really pricey for me. So I was like, eh, I don't want to do that. So I didn't do that. But then I ended up going to PAX East, which is a gaming convention in Boston, Massachusetts, and I got the Krobus plushie. I want it. I really want the Star Drop plushie too, but it's okay. Krobus is better. They didn't have the that one at their showcase booth or whatever. So I got the official Krobus Glow in the Dark Collectible Plush. This is from Fan Gamer. It's licensed, it has like Stardew Valley tag on it and by Concerned Ape and all of that. And Krobus, he's so cute. He glows in the dark. He's so like derpy, I love him. He's perfect. Got him, he's so like thick and good and he's definitely good quality compared to the Amazon ones. So, yeah. And I got an official Junimo plushie. Got a pink one. Pink Junimo pillow plush. This is a Sanshi Concerned Ape thing. You can see from the tag, like, it's official, you know. The difference is crazy. Like, look at the difference here. Um, you can just visually see that this one is such high quality. Now, the details on this one, I do kind of wish they were black arms and legs and eyes. They're both cute, they're both cute. But there is a difference in quality and this one is so soft and squished. So those are all the plushies I got. I also got a bunch of official pins when I was at PAX East. I took some of them out of the packaging already and then I put them back in it because I was like, I gotta show you guys how it looks when you buy it. So this one I haven't opened yet, but it's a Stardew Valley cow. The pin is huge, it has two backs on it. Um, but I love cows, so I had to get this one. I got a jar of Junimos. Um, oh, also these are Sanshi brand. I got a jar of Junimos, and it's just really, really cute. Double-backed pin thing. I got the blue chicken. I wanted to get the blue chicken plush, but that was sold out at PAX East, so I was sad about that. And then my last Sanshi pin is Grover, the horse with the sombrero in Stardew Valley. And there was also a star drop pin that I got, but I gave it to my friend. And I got the Krobus pin. This is a fan gamer pin, so he's just so cute. And there's a star drop and Junimos, and this one's really, really adorable. Okay, now I've got a bunch of stuff I have not opened yet. So let me show you. <sighs> This is like clothing and merch and earrings and stuff. And I think I have like um, a candle. So it's going to be interesting. Um, the thing I waited the longest for was this item here, which I didn't realize was coming from Australia to the USA. So we're going to open this one. This is a pair of earrings. So, oh, aw, I got a chicken. A chicken sticker and it says thank you for your purchase remove plastic film from the key ring so here are the earrings they're the little stardew cows they're so cute remove the plastic from the key ring I don't know what that means but um anyway they're really cute there are some scratches on the back of this one but no one's gonna really tell when you're wearing it. Yeah, but those are adorable. All right, let's go into one of these bigger packages. So we've got this guy. I think most of this stuff is gonna be Etsy stuff. Oh, I think this is a Krobus thing. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, I got a big size to make it comfy. So this is from Etsy. <gasps> Look. <laughs> it's so cute. And I love crewnecks. Look how cute. Oh, Krobus! Hi, Krobus! <laughs> oh my gosh, it's really cute! So that's fun. The print seems nice. It might fall off over time. I don't know, but really happy with that one. Okay, I think this one's gonna be like a t-shirt. 
And this one's from Etsy too. Oh! <laughs> it's a chewing emo! With the star drop. So cute. So cute. And I got a brown one just because I don't really have a lot of brown t-shirts. So I thought that'd be a good pick. And then the print would be really vibrant on it. Yeah, this one is from Etsy too. And I'll make sure I link all these shops below so you guys can go support them too. Um, and the print feels the same as the other one. Let's do another pair of earrings. These ones also shipped internationally. And I'm assuming that this is earrings because it's a small bag. Middle hand written note. Thank you so much for your order. I really hope you like your starfruit earrings. Hope you're looking forward to the new update. Again, thank you. <gasps> Whoa! Okay, they're way bigger than I thought, but they're so cool. They're gonna be kind of heavy. Oh, they're gonna be kind of heavy. They're so cute though. Look how cute these are. I just love them. I love to collect like funky earrings and stuff, but these are really cool. Bigger than I thought, but definitely really well done, really well crafted. So I'll put those with my other earrings. This came from Spain and it looks just like the one from this website called Pediment, who I don't know if their stuff is official Stardew merch or not, but they make this same hoodie. So I thought that this was like their shop. But I don't, I don't think it was because it says it's B treat. Yeah, B treat. And yeah, we've got a cow theme going here because when do we not have a cow theme going here? Thank you. Your support means the world to my small business. We love your item as much as we love creating it. 10% off your next order. I'm excited for this because every person in the world needs more hoodies. <laughs> but it's stitched on here and it's just so cute and I love the color so I got this in a big size comfy size too this is so cool actually this might be one of my favorite things just because it's very simple and cute but it's like it's Stardew Valley I tried to get things that weren't like Stardew Valley which is what the typical merch is which isn't bad it's just that this merch is like more creative and interesting and simple and fun all at the same time and I really like it. This last item is gonna be really interesting because I got a candle. So, oh, thank you, Mew. How did they know I like strawberries? And they said, thank you. This one's from Nerdy Nits, Nit, <laughs> Nerdy Nifties on Etsy. A wax tart sample. Place me in a wax warmer. I think it broke. Or maybe it's supposed to be like this. It smells really good. Now, I thought I only ordered one, but I guess I ordered two. So I could get two different smells. Did I order two? I did order two. And I only got... Oh, I did get the jars. So yeah, I don't even remember what I ordered. So these are really cute little candles. So it says, Spring in the Valley. Vegan, cruelty-free, four-ounce candle. And it's supposed to smell like spring in Stardew Valley. Ooh! Oh, this smells good. It's really floral and just pretty. It does have a spring smell. I'm gonna light that one for my parents when they come over tomorrow because it smells really fresh and really pretty. Dance of the Junimo. A sweet fruit melody. Let's see what this one smells like. I hope it smells like fruity pebbles. Mmm. I haven't smelled quite that smell before. It smells really good. I'm gonna have to light them to see what they really, really smell like because I feel like the scent's gonna come out more. But how cute are these? They also come in little tins, but I liked this packaging more. So I got these. I'm so excited um, for those. I think those are really a cool idea. So that's everything I got for this haul. Um, what Stardew Valley merch do you have? So if you liked this video, please check out this one. I did a collab with other cozy YouTubers and I took a long time to make that video. So please check it out. And thank you so much to the members of this channel for being members. And hopefully, hopefully I'll see you in my next YouTube video. Bye.